you know, they're uh, obviously very balanced, very talented team. Um, you know, I think the O line's, uh, you know, a really good part of what they're doing. They got good size, they move well, uh, and the quarterbacks, you know, keeps getting better and better. So, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a big challenge for us. You faced the second best offense in the league last week, now the best offense in the league. How, how do the two offenses compare? Well, I think, you know, the, the way they utilize their skill players, you know, the quarterback, uh, you know, most of the offenses right now that, that are going to be up higher in the conference, you know, you have a, a, some form of a dual threat quarterback that, that can move the ball, uh, you know, running the football and then, you know, throwing the ball down the field to, you know, really, uh, really talented players. As well as the defense played last week, did you see that coming, you know, with the week of practice leading up to that game? Yeah, I thought we had a good week of practice. You know, we, we played well for the duration. I mean, I think that, like throughout the season, we've had some some moments that we haven't played very well, and we've had some other moments I thought we played uh, that were probably a good indication of what we were capable of. And it was good to see that the guys put forth uh, a more complete uh, effort, and, and I think uh, I think they felt good about their what the, what the I guess what the, the product was they put on the field. You talked about the quarterback kind of being similar to some other dual threat quarterbacks. Is there anything he does maybe that separates him from some of those other guys? Yeah, I don't know if it, if it separates him, but, you know, he does a, a great job of, uh, you know, he throws a nice deep ball. You know, they could do a good job of pushing the ball downfield, um, you know, and, and really utilizing some of the speed they have on the outside part of the field. Uh, in the red zone, he's a, he's really good with the ball in his hands running the football. I think he has 10 rushing touchdowns. So, you know, they do a good job of, of designing some things, and then he can make some guys miss and, and get to the pylon. Are you surprised with how poised he is as a freshman? Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm surprised. You know, there's, you know, very – I guess those guys that, that play themselves into those roles, you know, into big time programs, playing as true freshmen, uh, they have, you know, they, they have some of that, you know, innately in them. You know, I don't think you see many true freshmen that are going to be, uh, you know, guys that are going to be really rattled on game day. So I think it takes a unique personality to even give himself that opportunity to play. So I, I guess his personality lends him to be able to play as a young player. A lot of injuries and inexperience in, in the secondary, but those guys seem to be kind of coming along, making some plays. What have you seen? from game one to the Texas A&M game when guys like Mark McLaurin for making plays in that game? You know, Mark's, Mark has come along. You know, I think we've been in here a couple of weeks and, and we, you know, I've said some positive things about Mark. So uh, it's good to see him to continue to develop. It was good to get Keevon back. And then, you know, the corners, we just got to, you know, keep developing. You know, really everybody in the back, and we just got to keep developing, uh, keep making plays when the ball's in the air, and just, you know, just keep on getting better throughout the entire season. Speaking of that, Jamoral is seems to really kind of be coming into his own What's he done over the past few games that's kind of allowed him to, to be more comfortable back there at cornerback? I think all those guys are getting better the more repetitions they have. You know, the, the more we coach them, the more they understand uh, the expectations and, and uh, you know, trying to stay in, um, you know, trying to develop some calls that they can feel comfortable in and, you know, things that they can, they can improve on every week instead of, you know, changing things week to week. Mark seems to be given that nose for ball in a couple of the starts, whether it's a fumble recovery or interception. How was he able to do that? What's he doing to put himself in the right place? Well, he's doing a good job of, of studying, and uh, you know I think he's done a nice job in the week of preparation. That you know he'll come in and actually sit with the with, sit with the coaching staff, and, and, and we watch film the last couple of weeks. He's been in there a few nights sitting, uh, watching film with us. So he's taking the time, uh, the extra time to to get uh, more familiar with what we're doing and come in and listen to us as we talk through the game plan. So I think you see guys like that that enjoy that part of the game. You know, you'll see them get more comfortable, and, and I think they can start jumping some of the tendencies. We've talked in the past about just enjoying playing, and it seemed like he was. He was out there dancing and jumping up and down. Even Richie said that he tried to make a more conscious effort to show more energy. Was that a, was that a decision by you, or how, how, did, how did that lead to the game with guys just showing more energy and, and flash, I guess? That's something we've talked about a lot. I use the word enthusiasm. You know, I think energy is... Uh, sometimes you can legitimately be tired. You know, you might not have a lack of energy. Enthusiasm to me is a choice. You know, you can choose to go out there and, and, and act like you're ready to go. And that's been something we've talked about since the, it came up the second uh, scrimmage in the spring. You know, we really started, to back, started talking about enthusiasm and, and what's, what's expected and, and, and what you need to, to bring, I guess we talk, in, you know, in our toolbox. You know, when you come to the stadium, you come in to our stadium, what, what do you need to pack? And enthusiasm is one of those things. McLaurin took Kevon's place after he was injured, and now Kevon's back and Mark stays in the lineup. What are you doing with uh, Brandon Bryant to get his, you know, get him back in that rotation? Well, I mean, all those safeties think or give us an opportunity to play good football. So, you know, it's uh, we are continuing to develop all of them. I think all of them played. You know, so we just got to 
uh, you know, keep practicing and, and make it a competitive environment that uh, the guys that practice the best and guys out there and, and perform the best will get more reps. Dan mentioned uh, the losses kind of maybe <clears throat> giving some frustration to the team, and that kind of led up to when they got the win in San Francisco, kind of led up to their play last week, and also maybe the the way they played they weren't happy about. Did you kind of see that with the defense, kind of the frustrations leading up to and getting that win, kind of putting them over the hump last week? Yeah, you know, I don't know. If, I don't know if the if the frustrations led us to play well. You know, I think the frustrations of uh, maybe sharpened our focus. You know, and really understanding uh, the the level of execution, the level of enthusiasm we need to bring, and the, and the level of preparation that we have to go out there and and play every snap. You know, is important. You know, the first snap is important as the next snap. You know, so I think those are some of the things that, that maybe we've learned over the uh, you know the duration of the season.